So here's my tutorial on how to turn this into this. Stay tuned. So do you know how to pick out a pineapple at the store? Here's how you do it. This pineapple is extremely ripe. And do you know how I know this? It's because the skin itself is yellow. So if you go to the grocery store and you wanna find a pineapple that's gonna be firm and not completely ripe right at the very beginning, pick out one that has green skin first, set it out on your counter for a few days, and when the skin starts to turn this yellowish color, that means it's ripe and ready to eat. Another thing you can do too is you can smell at the bottom and if it smells like pineapple juice, that means it's ready to go. So that's how you pick out a ripe pineapple. To carve your pineapple into a jack-o'-lantern, you need a pretty non-ripe pineapple, but I bought these pineapples a week ago, and so we're gonna be working with pineapples that are already really ripe. But here is some equipment that you're going to need to carve your pineapple. First and foremost, a pineapple. Second, you need a cutting board, and I would recommend a cutting board with the trenches that are around the edge so it can absorb some of the juice that comes out. You're absolutely gonna need a nice metal spoon to scoop out the insides. You're gonna need a nice carving knife to be able to cut, because as you know, pineapples can be really tough. We also have a nice boning knife to be able to do some of the details in case it's pretty tough. And then I also have a actual pumpkin carving like jack-o'-lantern kit knife from the grocery store to do some of the details. And I have this little punch out tool that came with the same pack. We also are gonna need a bowl because we're gonna collect all the inside of the pineapple and put it in here. And we're gonna use it later for some awesome sauce for a barbecue, or we're gonna make some pina coladas later on. Finally, at the very end, you need a tea light and a lighter because we're going to light up this jack-o'-lantern and make it glow. The first step we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the top, maybe about an inch down from the top. I'm gonna cut off the top nice and flat. Ooh, look how gorgeous that is on the inside. Looks fabulous. Now I'm actually gonna take my boning knife and I'm gonna cut around the inside because what I wanna do is I'm gonna scoop out the inside of the pineapple. And oh my gosh, this pineapple is so ripe. It's like cutting through butter. And I'm gonna score it. And I'm using a metal spoon because I need that resistance, okay? I need it to be tough enough because the very center core of the pineapple can be extremely tough, even when it's extremely ripe. And I wanna be able to have a spoon that cuts through it. So I don't recommend using a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon simply because that might not necessarily cut through the center. And I need to actually cut through the center with a knife. Now, as I get to the very bottom, that's where the tough area is because that's like the stem from the plant. Okay, so now I have the inside all carved out. So now is the time that I'm gonna make my face. And I'm gonna use my jack-o'-lantern cutting knife. This is one that comes in like a packet you can get at the grocery store. So one of the nice things is you can use the little shapes that are already on here to help you cut out a couple eyes. Wow, that came out really easy. Two eyes. <laughs> I don't have much room for a nose quite yet, so I'm gonna go for the mouth. And I'm just gonna follow the pattern of some of these eyes that we have in here already. And there we go. Let's see it. We're gonna light this baby up. And then we're gonna put the top back on. 
You have your own jack-o'-lantern. <laughs>